Now that the engine cases are painted, let's see if we can turn this bucket of parts into a working engine. I'm pretty satisfied with the way the paint turned out on these cases. Uh, it seems to be pretty scratch resistant. Uh, we'll see if it holds up in the long term, but uh, as of right now, everything looks good. This being my first KLR650 engine build, it's going to take me a little bit longer to get everything in place. But uh, first steps will just be identifying and locating all the parts and laying them out and getting them ready, make sure I have everything. Um, for the bearings, I'm going to be replacing all the bearings, so I'll need to compare and make sure I have the right ones. I'm referencing the parts diagram, the manual, as well as comparing the old bearings to the new bearings to make sure everything's the way it should be. So I did bake all the case parts um, before installing the bearings just to help with the installation process. And I put all the bearings in the freezer and I'm putting a little bit of assembly grease as well. And all these bearings went in without a problem at all. I used a combination of the old bearings and some impact sockets to help with the installation.
with all the new bearings and seals installed, it's time to start laying out the transmission parts and getting them in place. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to be measuring anything I can measure that there are specs for in the manual to make sure everything's within tolerance. I certainly don't want to be putting parts that are war past their service limit inside this build. And I would say if you're doing anything similar, that you always reference the service manual and measure before you install. It's a tedious process and certainly not the most fun, but it will give you some confidence that once everything's put together, that it should function like it should.
With all the lower end parts in place, it's just time to clean up the gasket surface area, apply the gasket material, and mate the two halves. For the gasketing material, I'll be using 3 Bond 1184, as that was, re was recommended by Eagle Mike and uh, several others on forums. Mating the two halves of a crankcase is always satisfying. You just hope everything's where it's supposed to be and that you haven't forgot anything. Since several of the original crankcase fasteners were missing, I'm replacing them with stainless steel socket head cap screws. I think they'll look nicer and these were actually cheaper than trying to source OEM fasteners. I'm not sure I've mentioned this yet, but I am torquing everything to spec. Always reference the manual to get your torque specs. Um, it's a lot better than just winging it. With all the fasteners torqued down, that wraps up the crankcase assembly. Next time we'll move on to the counterbalance assembly. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. <laughs>